Here at Rockwell's Automotive Operations, research has been proceeding to develop a line of heavy-duty transmissions that establishes new standards for reliability, durability, and quality. With customer needs as our primary focus, work is proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is the turbo encabulator. Now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with the panometric fam. The latter consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal vanes so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal Lotus O Delta type placed in panendermic semi boloid slots of the stator, every seventh conductor being connected by a non reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the grammeters. The turbo encabulator has now reached a high level of development and it's being successfully used in the operation of Nofer trunnions. Moreover, whenever a fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal deplaneration. Here at Rockwell, we realize the cost will be high, $59 billion. But we think our customers are worth it. Thank you.